Hey YouTube, it's Gary. Um, thanks for stopping by. Um, little things I've been trying to do. I've been trying to get a lot of subscribers um, so I can get a lot of viewers, more viewers, more stuff like that. Just so I feel like I'm actually doing something for you guys, you know what I mean? Um, but what I'm going to talk about today is um, SMDEP. Um, I'm going to start a series of sites. There's 12, there's 12 sites. Um, and they're, it's a nationwide program, so chances are you probably won't have to go too far if you are applying for it, unless you want to. Um, I know there's one in Kentucky, there's one in Virginia, there's one at Yale, there's one at Columbia, there's one at Case Western, there's one at Houston, there's one at, uh, California, there's one in Washington, um, and I'm sure there's more, I just can't remember them right now, but basically, I am I went to the Houston site, and I just wanted to do a quick review over it. All in all, I'd say that it was a good program. I'd probably give it a four out of five stars. Um, one of the problems that I did have with it was the way that it was ran. Not to say that it was ran badly, I just would have ran it differently. Um, it was, it's for medical and dental students, and not all the sites are. Most of them, uh, I think there's eight of them that are for medical and dental, and four of them that are just for medical students. Um, but being at one of the ones with both medical and dental students, I found a, a lot of stuff to be kind of, uh, like, arbitrary. I, I don't know. But, I mean, if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't know what you want to do, if you want to do healthcare but you don't know what, it's really good to go to a dental and medical thing because it opens up your eyes to dental. But I'm pretty set on being medical, like I said in my About Me video, if you want to go check that out. But um, So about half the time, okay, you're, there's the way they're set up in Houston is that there's 60 medical students, uh, 20 dental students, which makes up 80 scholars overall. I hated the fact that everything was done by alphabetical order. Um, all your groups, your roommate, your everything pretty much was done by alphabetical order. Uh, there were some random groups, like your group project was completely random, depending on if you were medical or dental. Um, and I hated the fact that we spent about 75% of the time doing dental stuff when there's only 20 dental students. And, I mean, the dental students disagreed, but most of the medical students agreed with me. Um, there's a plane, one second. But um, most of the medical students would agree with me. We were at the dental branch uh, four, we were at the dental branch three of the five days, and the classroom sucked that we were in. But if you're applying now, I'm told that you will be in a completely new renovated building. So let's hope those uh, that seating arrangement doesn't suck as much. But like the rows were like this far apart. Like seriously, it was really, I couldn't sit there for two hours. Um, but things to know, like those are my dislikes pretty much for the most part. But things that I did like, I like the exposure that we got. Um, we we were given the opportunity to shadow um, physicians and dentists depending on what we did. And we could even go back and forth if we wanted to. Like uh, I know a few medical students who shadowed some dentists and a few dental students who shadowed some doctors. Um, physicians because I guess dentists are doctors too. You were only given one day to shadow like one designated day was for you to shadow and the rest you have to find on your own which I mean if you can make time for it it's cool but I think most guy, most people will find that it's a very overwhelming program like uh, the, the way they scheduled it for us was we were we were up and learning like we were in the classroom at 8 and also we were we were in the classroom at 8 we got a 10 minute break uh, I think er every hour I think and we would have a lunch an hour for lunch and then we would be doing stuff from 12 from 1 1 to 5 and then at 5 we were done with the day supposedly but um, you're taking classes, you're getting spoken to by different people in the profession, um, different types of people. You're getting spoken to by academic advisors, 
financial advisors. So it is for freshmen and sophomores only. So if you're if you are getting ready to be a senior, I guess, you shouldn't apply for it. But if you're getting ready to be a sophomore or getting ready to be a junior, you should go ahead and apply if you're interested. Um, majority of the people were rising juniors. They were going into their junior year. Um, I found that about like a fourth, about a fourth of us were freshmen. Um, and we're from all over the place. So a fourth of us are from Houston as well. But um, don't think just because you go to a site that everyone's going to be from your state. Because we got people from Michigan, Mex New Mexico, even people from uh, Puerto Rico, I think. Some, some country down there. Um, we had people from California. We had people from Pennsylvania. And a lot more. Uh, Montana and I think North Dakota as well. But um, there is a big group of us. It was really cool being surrounded by people who want to do what you want to do. Um, and it was a, overall, it was a great experience. I would probably do it again, but warnings that I would give you is prepare to do a lot of work. Don't expect to be making bank off of it. Don't expect for it to be easy. You have a pretty big workload. There's a final project at the end. You're doing homework for classes every single day. And the classes you're taking there, or their intro, intro classes, but um, you're taking physics, microbio, anatomy and physiology, organic chemistry, calculus, and I think that may be it. But you're taking those classes, and you're expected to actually treat it like it's an actual class, even though you're not getting credit for it. Um, there is one site that does give you credit. I think it's New Jersey. Um, but you might want to look that up. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Uh, don't expect to be taking... I know I have a good friend who was taking summer classes while doing this. She kind of was very occupied. Um, she had no time to do anything, really. Like, uh, she was either doing SMDEP stuff or her college stuff. But I would not recommend taking a summer class, like, online while you do this. I would not recommend any other kind of academic work, but most people found that there was, at the Houston site, because of the dates, they tend to be earlier. They tend to start earlier than every other site. So because of the dates, you do have time to take an extra semester of summer school after the program, which is a perk, I guess. I didn't. I mean, I was pretty worn out after SMDEP. Expect to get, I would say, expect to get really close to a lot of people really quickly because I'm not even a social kind of guy. Like, it takes me a while to just warm up to someone. I actually fell in love with, like, tons of people. But I actually genuinely love these people like I love my family. Uh, prepare to bring extra money because um, you get or live off of your stipend. Don't plan on saving 100% of your stipend. This would happen. So the way they run the cafeteria is that um, you get $11 a day to eat lunch, and I mean that sounds like a lot, but in the cafeteria, you're at the Moral Herman cafeteria, and a burger is about four dollars, a pizza is about four dollars, um, drinks themselves are like two dollars, so you 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 only get like you get like two meals and a snack, basically that's how most people got it. Don't get fruit; they charge fruit by the pound, and it's like six fifty a pound. So if you get fruit, you're kind of screwed for the rest of the day. Um, but either prepare to eat less if you want to eat, like, free, like 100% for free. And the $11 doesn't roll over. You get $11 every day. It doesn't matter if you spend $3 one day, your, your $11 is gone. Like, those uh, $8 don't carry over to the next day or the next the, the ending balance, which was a gripe of mine. Don't expect not to like it. I mean, I, I had a lot of gripes about it, but it was, I would still do it again, even if nothing was changed. Um, you take a pretest and a post test, so it marks your uh, progress as well. You get a practice MCAT, you get to um, do a bunch of stuff around Houston. Oh, and if you want to bring a car, you don't you don't have to, you can go without a car because there's the Metro Rail, which is like our own little train that we have that goes from the medical center to downtown that far. So basically anywhere you need to go, you can kind of get to. 
but unless you want to pay like uh, for your own gas, it only costs a a dollar twenty five to ride the metro rail per trip. But if you're gonna stay somewhere, you'll probably spend about two fifty on your tickets because they do only last two hours. Um, a lot of people didn't pay just because they have it set up to where you don't have to pay. But if you get caught by the police, like there will be random like stops where the police stop the train and search for people for tickets. It's a seventy five dollar fine, so I would just be safe than sorry. Um, but that's just the kind of guy I am. So. If you're a big risk taker, go ahead and don't pay. You'll get free rides everywhere. At night, I would advise you to buy tickets. I wouldn't say you need to buy tickets in the morning or afternoon, but at night is when they actually sit there with a bunch of police. And they're like, you'd think that there was a bomb on the train. Like, seriously, the way they searched the train, I mean, it was just whatever. Um, oh, and, a, and anatomy and physiology was pretty cool um, for at least the medical students. Like, in dental school, you still need to know the anatomy of the body the from the waist up. But for medical school, you need to know the whole entire anatomy. Um, so we took an intro course to that, and I actually learned tons. Like, I feel like I would do decently in an anatomy course now. Like, I actually, I would do amazing. But I feel like I would do decently in a medical school anatomy course. But, like, for undergraduate, I'm taking anatomy again. And I'm going to do another sh video about um, what classes you should take. But I'm going to do another video about what classes you take, you should take. But um, the this anatomy class was amazing. Like we got our, we didn't get our own cadaver, so to speak, but we all got a part of the body. Like uh, I was in charge of the leg. My, there you're broken up into groups, and you're in charge of different things. Like I was in charge of my group was in charge of the leg, and the knee joints. So we had to teach that. We had to learn that first, and then we got to teach that to other people. And then if you're in charge of the brain, you have to learn that first and teach that to people. So basically, you're teaching yourselves the anatomy of the body, which is supposedly what happens in med school. So, um, and it's like a legitimate anatomy course. And the physiology course is more of a lecture than it is a lab. The anatomy part is more of a lab than it is a lecture. So it was a very, this class was amazing. Like I'm not, I, that was probably my favorite class, the calculus. But all in all, I'd say that it was a good program. Uh... And I'll do reviews on the other ones with other people that have actually went. Like, I have friends who have actually went to other ones. And then you can just decide where you want to go from there. I hope this was helpful to someone, and I hope someone appreciates this. And like I said, there's more to come. I'll be talking with one of my really good friends, Megan. She went to the University of Washington site. I have a good friend, Heather, who went to the uh, UCLA site. So... I know that there's already one up for Virginia, so if, if I don't make that happen, there's always that video. She went to the she went a year before I did. So there's always that video and um, I believe there's one up already for Yale. So check those out if you're interested. Um, the Virginia video is exactly kinda like this. She touched on the high points, the little points, how it helped her and stuff like this. I don't know about the yellow one. I think the yellow one was supposed to be a as you go kind of review, and I think you only did one because it's that overwhelming. Like if you have plans, don't don't be prepared to stick to them. It's pretty overwhelming. All in all, I made some great friends. I learned a ton of stuff. Got re a ton of stuff that I already knew and forced reinforced. Um, and I mean, it it was just an experience to remember. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope this helps someone. Um, and please rate, comment, and subscribe. I would love to get your feedback on what you want to see differently, what you really liked, uh, what you kind of want to do. So uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. And please let me know what you want to see, what you want to hear, what you want to know, stuff like that. And I'll be, help I'll be glad to kind of get that. And if I don't know it, I'll find someone who does and relay the message. So I hope you guys have a blessed Sunday. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of mine, hopefully. Let's see what Sunday has in store for us. All right, goodbye. Holla for a dollar for a pina colada. I'm actually going to keep doing that. So if you hate that, I'm sorry. Okay, bye.